have the very stylish, the very hot, the very sexy villain someone. Villain, how are you doing? Thank you, thank you, Sasha, for your compliments. And and I'm really happy, firstly, that you're here. And uh, the media turnout was really good at the press conference. So that is something that we we look for uh, for for an event like this, because we want to spread this message. Uh, we want everyone to know about it. We want people to participate. And even if they don't participate, they should still get the message and 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 change their lives. And uh, so it's important that um, everybody was here. So you have any message probably for the women or young girls out there? Well, my my message is is very simple. That you know, take time for yourselves. Don't think that uh, you're not worth it. Firstly, because you are the best person uh, for your family. You can be the best person for other people around you if you take care of yourself. If you are happy first. If you are healthy first. You are more in a position to to make a difference to other people's lives. Milan, what about uh, you know a lot of these uh, these days when you talk about working people, you know half of the time they spend in offices, you know they're just sitting. Probably they don't even get time to kind of walk around. So anything that you would uh, want to talk to people around there? Yes, it is. It's uh, it's a very difficult space to be in. When I talk to people and I say that you know you have to be active. When people ask me, you know, how come you're fit? Uh, but what do you do? What do you eat? What what gym do you go to? And how do you exercise? And I say I never go to the gym. Uh, I I run sometimes. I don't run every day, and uh, I don't diet. But I I monitor what I eat. I'm aware of what I'm eating. Uh, so I try to eat healthy food. Uh, I don't have any restrictions except for no sugar. But uh, I I I eat, I eat everything that's possible. But some people say, of course, that our job entails sitting all the time because we work on the computer. And what do we do? So I say, I say that you know the thing is you're not always typing on the computer or always reading on the computer. Even when you're thinking, you should get up and think, walk around and think. Don't sit and think. You know the other thing is that we don't realize that we get dehydrated all the time. And even like a one percent or two percent dehydration causes your brain to function differently. It, it decreases your concentration, decreases your focus. So you must drink a little bit of water every 15 minutes, a little bit, at least half a glass or a couple of sips. And the important thing is not to keep that water on your table. So have a timer. Let the timer go off every 15 minutes, and every 15 minutes, go get your glass of water, drink that glass of water, come back, and then sit down again. Before lunch, maybe go up and down the stairs a couple of times. Simple things like that uh, are things that you can do to have a healthier lifestyle. That's a very important message because here, when you talk about this, it gets me back to my office because every time I finish a bottle of water and I'm like, do I go back? I'm bored. You know, I'm bored to walk, yes. so I just keep sitting there. Yes. And you keep a bottle, so never keep a bottle. Get up. And go and get that water. Drink it there and come back. And don't ask people to get the water for you either. Go and get it. In fact, go and give people water if you want. That will help you. It will also uh, increase your mental activity. It is. It's scientifically proven that activity, physical activity, improves your mental activity. So the more you sit, the less uh, uh, effectively you're going to think. The more, more uh, less constructively you're going to think. So it's better to walk around. And what about running? You say you don't go to the gym either. So when you talk about running around, how does it help the entire body? You know, if somebody wants to have a nice physique, for example, these days the young boys are going all gaga over. You know, a lot of people around they see. Well, we had a question today in the press conference, and that guy was asking me. He said, you know, 20 years ago you had a different kind of body, and today you have a, uh, the kind of body. But he didn't like it. But to me, I'm much fitter today than I was 20 years ago. That's what I feel. And I, of course, I try to explain that I was, I was a swimmer earlier, so I had a swimmer's body, and now I'm a runner, so I have a runner's body. So your body evolves to the kind of Activity you're doing, and of course, I know uh, young men today want to have like a big chest, big biceps, and you know that that looks uh, impressive. But it, for me, it is what your body can do, not what it looks like. And of course, Pinkathon is what we're talking about. So, Milan, lastly, before I let you go, could you tell us a little about you know, since Bollywood is somehow connected to this, so this time, are you expecting probably the female actresses around, you know, who would be supporting well, this? Well, I hope, and yes, there were a lot of uh, women celebrities who did come, and in fact, ran. Lisa Hayden ran the 10 kilometers. Uh, Anusha Dandekar ran 10 kilometers. Uh, Tara Sharma ran the 5 kilometers. Malishka ran the 10 kilometers. Uh, Karishma Kapoor flagged off the event. Uh, so. 
it was uh, it was definitely well supported. I would like it to be better supported uh, every year, of course. But also depends on um, uh, whether they're free, whether they have the time at that uh, time of the year, uh, so on and so forth. But yes, everybody should support it. Not just Bollywood, but media, you, your family, your friends. Everyone must support this cause. Thank you so much, Milan, for talking to us. I think that was a very important message coming all the way from the very hot and sexy Milan Suman. Stay tuned to Hot Yo. We'll get you a lot more.